Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome hey. to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by SeatGeek, Squarespace, and Warby Parker, our three great sponsors that we're going to talk about later. SeatGeek. But for now, I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Barbara. I'm Michael. And this is a podcast. Welcome um, back, Michael. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for sitting in. I, uh, I went <laughs> and I saw <laughs> the, uh, the Martian this past weekend uh, in the theater, which is a big deal for me because I went. It was opening you weekend, wasn't it? No, the second week. But still, you don't see movies until they're like way, we liked, way down. You like four to six weeks, right? I looked, Normally, yes, but I lucked out because they were playing it at the Violet Crown downtown. And it's a theater. If you, if you don't live in Austin, you don't know this, but it's a tiny theater. It's like 30 seats. So even if it's sold out, it's not crowded. Like, it's not a big deal. And Is that the one that has like the reclining chairs and everything like that, too? No, it's normal chairs, but they have, they have food, like the Alamo. So you can okay. get food and beer and drinks and stuff. So I showed up a little early and I was eating lunch. And I've been to the Violet Crown many times, but for some reason this time, for the first time ever, I noticed that they sell their cocktails in theater size. So what? I asked the waitress, I was like, what, is, what does that mean? Is that bigger or smaller? I was like, what does theater yeah. size mean? She goes, oh, it's a convenient larger size, so you can take it into the theater m- movie with what? you. I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, theater size drinks now, please. So is it like a big gulp of alcohol? <laughs> yeah, basically <laughs> it is. is. it in the same giant plastic cup? or No, it's like a giant it's, glass. It's huge. It's, it's, it's fancy. I'm just imagining massive. like a giant martini glass. Like, <laughs> so it is, is it essentially just a double? It's, I think it's more than a double. It was massive. Yeah. Was it, it was expensive? Huge. It was like 12 bucks. Did you, like, have six of them there and then have one more and bring it into the movie? Well, I watched a movie, so yeah. Mm. <laughs> How was The Martian? It was pretty good. I um, heard really good things about it, like, I, being comparing it to, like, all the other really good sci-fi movies. Yeah, I thought, like, it was way better. Like, I loved Gravity. I thought it was way better than Gravity. Um, mm. That being said, I still think that the book was better because they... Like, the book is constant problem after problem. That's not my drink, but okay, I guess that's, that's it. That's a cocktail. <laughs> that is a cocktail. You're looking at a beverage. <laughs> you guys just Google cocktail and yeah. Google. That's great. Um, but, uh, yeah, there were just more problems in the book. Uh, and then I guess for the movie, since they only have, like, two hours, it's like, all right, we're going to cut out, like, half of the stuff that goes wrong. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to listen to the book. I thought it was, a, like, 20 minutes, like, 15 minutes too long. Mm. The movie? Yeah, it was, like, two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, but he was there for ages. You yeah, but there's like there repetitive shots where there's like there's a couple shots where it's like okay, yeah, he's next time driving around in the Land Rover like the nineteenth well, time. The I only thing in they the were Rover. trying to put across the damn monotony. Well, no, the, you see, I, I see what you're saying. I felt like they, th- if they had been doing that the whole movie, I would have agreed with you. But I felt like they never really expressed how fucking long he was there. It was like did he, it never say how many years or no? Or? I would have told it, you the kind of went like over it, but, it. It, but it's like in a flash. You know, he drove from one place to another. The drive took seventy days, but it's literally just like cut. It's like next he, I'm going to start my drive yeah. and then cut. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a long <laughs> drive. It's like he took he took like over two months on that drive. <laughs> it's just like cut. How much of the like monotonous math parts did they leave in the movie? There's not much. There's no. not much. It's yeah. like movie math. Yeah. It's, I science the shit out of this. I'm gonna it's make water. Buzzwords. Hey, hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah, I'm gonna science the shit out of those plants. It was Look, plants on Mars. It was I funnier than I thought it would be. It was pretty funny. Yeah. There's a, there's which, a, which is... Wait, uh, you there's saw not a lot of humor too? in Ridley Scott. Yeah. Damn it. I, I, I saw it on Gavin's recommendation. Hmm. No. I only have read the book. And I'm waiting for Aaron to finish the book before we see the movie. Mm. Well, it's it's not that long of a book, so hopefully he'll be done by end of year. <laughs> it's he'll a movie you should pay. pay for. Thanks, Mario. You should pay to see that movie. You shouldn't watch it on a plane. It should uh, be big. So yeah. you you mentioned that it's a Ridley Scott movie, and I thought there was something really interesting. You know, uh, normally a movie starts and it's all the production companies and everything, and they have like their logos and whatnot. On this movie. It did not say Scott Free Productions. They had the long animated thing like that leads to his logo, but it never says mm. Scott Free Productions at the very beginning. At the very end, it does. But I was like, that's a baller move. Yeah, it's like you just put like a little animation Classy. in your logo and like no text. It's like it's like yeah, you got to know what that is. <laughs> you really, you really turned it around after Prometheus. Oh, yeah. I liked Prometheus. No. I did not yeah. like no, Prometheus. That was what? So Prometheus you was like fine. Prometheus? Yeah, Prometheus was fine. Nothing <laughs> happened in that movie. It was a two and a half hour just jerk off. And look it at was, the, it wasn't look like at the special effects. I don't look think it was it. overly <gasps> bad. It was just like as as a Ridley Scott movie. Yeah. You just think, why did he make it? Yeah. Like, it what was, was the point of that? The, the war, okay, so it, it doesn't what, even is, lead. It into, seemed like one of those Harry Potter books, like the the lore books that she made, where it was like, look. The, I is, mentioned the alien. There is movie. one thing I'll concede to you about Prometheus, and this is a spoiler for the movie, so if you haven't seen a years old movie, fuck you. Um, <laughs> at the very end, when there's like that giant thing rolling and the woman's like running away from it, it's like, 
you're a scientist. Just run to the side. <laughs> yeah. It's like I did not even think about you that. Could, she could just well, literally run 15 feet in the other direction that's and be shots, out of danger. Guys, that's one of the shots, but it, would lo- it looks like really dramatic how they shot it. But if they just cut to a really high up wide, it would look so stupid. Yeah. It would be like, just eat any other way, really. Yeah, this it's like is there's a- one direction you run in that's bad. And that's the direction you're <laughs> yeah. running in. I mean, other than running straight backwards into it. Right. It's also, you know, again, spoiler, but this is also the woman who just performed a C-section on herself. No, 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 that was the best part. So, <laughs> and she doesn't know to run to the side? No, I'm serious. Like, this woman, like, she, she performs surgery on herself, yeah. takes a bunch of drugs, is yeah. all fucked up, and is on an alien planet. I was like, yes, I love this movie. She's just, like, fucking cutting aliens out of her guts. It was then, like, pacing, which is so herself. weird, though, because she did that, and you're like, where the fuck is everybody else? And then she just, like, walks into the other room, and there's other people in there, and it's like, did she just... <laughs> Huh? BRB. Like, there's literally scenes after that where she's just like, all right, what's the situation? It's like, you're not going to run in and tell people what just fucking happened? <laughs> like, oh! It just doesn't happen. It's like, that's a lot of aliens. People going, oh! And everyone's like, fucking alien! <laughs> Cut For it out! they were like, yeah, okay. Then no we dick. have the C-section machine for a reason. You don't need to tell us every time you use it. <laughs> we get it. It's Monday. Yeah. Jeez. Come on. Wipe it down I, after I you use it, it was, for the next I person. I thought Martian was really good. I liked it a lot more than Prometheus. Yeah, I, I think it's one of uh, my favorite movies I've seen this year. How was Matt Damon? Matt Damon was really good. Um, well cast for that character? Mark yeah, Martin. I thought he played the character really well. I mean, the one concern I have is what everyone said. He played, you know, just an interstellar What the other year. He just played an astronaut who was stuck by himself. Yeah. Did you see that graphic of, like... Saving Private Ryan, Interstellar, and this movie. Like, people spend a lot of money trying to find Matt Damon. Yeah. yeah. No, but I thought he, I thought he, did, he did a good job. I don't know that it'll be up for, like, any best picture or best acting or anything. I it's one of the first sci-fi movies that they think might be up for best picture. I don't know if I'd go that far. Yeah, it was, I, it was I don't a good think, movie. I don't think it's that good. It was you a think fun it sci-fi movie. Good picture? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay picture. It'll get, instead of best picture, it'll get better picture. <laughs> it's like, good, better, best. Can, Can I, I talk quickly about... An item that I received in the mail this week. Why is it going to be quickly? Because I don't want to talk about it very long. Okay. Why uh, do you want to talk about it at all? I then? guess I pre-ordered the coin, ah. like when everyone was like funding that thing, which must have been I don't know, like eighteen months ago or something. Or uh, a year it was ago. like two years ago, I think. Yeah. So one showed up, and I was like, it looked like Apple packaging, so it's just a white thing. I was like, oh my god, I I bought a coin. I, how much were they? I don't even. Uh, it was like fifty bucks, I think. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. So I I basically spent. <laughs> I'm so all... annoyed for this item I got that I forgot that I bought. No, because I, I know why you're annoyed. I spent like all of Sunday trying oh, to use okay. it in one place. It didn't, I tried it five places. It didn't work once. Where did you try to use it? Uh, you, like, Walmart, say? Target, some bath and body asshole thingy. Oh, and I it, love it, that store. Bath would and not. body asshole thingy. W- in one of them, I swiped it and it said, it's a chip card. Put it in the chip reader. And I was like, huh? There's no, There's chip, no chip on it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to shove it in there? No, it just, it sucks. It's the worst. It's, it, yeah, it doesn't work. So are you I, done with it? I mean, it's in my wallet. Currently, but I won't use it. Mine's in my wallet, and I probably haven't used it in months. So it's just why it's what exactly is it? Oh, you don't it, know what you, the point is? You can swipe all of your, it to the listeners. You can load all of your credit cards and debit cards onto it. So mm-hmm. it's just one, and you click a button, and it's, it rotates between them. So it's yeah. digital. You digitally add it them. It does not on work. There? You, yeah, you, you, you sync with your phone. You scan them into your phone, gotcha. and then your phone uh, puts them on you here. Be able to and then the, 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 the cards never come out. That's the best part. The and cards are in here. And you just can't use it. And yeah. there's just a button that I guess switches through the cards. Yeah. And Which I guess ones? it's more secure. Like if you leave that, it can't be used if it's not right next to your phone. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it's just like to anyone else who finds it, it's useless. Have you tried using it? Like, it doesn't work to right next to your useless. phone too. Have you tried yeah. swiping it like with your phone next to it as you're swiping it? Maybe it just needs to be I mean, closer. Have you tried swiping the... it while giving the cashier your phone? You're like, you hold on to this. <laughs> I'll got this. I've tried swiping it while giving them my real credit card so that I can actually pay for whatever it is I want. It's just really just embarrassing. Swipe them both. If, what if you hit the pin, the pad on your side, and they hit the register at the same time and see which one works? Yeah. Like, uh, it's, it's cool to be on the front of technology. Like, it's cool to have this, like, future device. But it's so embarrassing when it doesn't work. And I was just, it was like a day the, of embarrassment. The only well, way you bought it before it came out. Yeah, yeah, but it's out now. The only way to I'm buy saying it. it's out now. He bought it two years ago. The only you way you didn't buy the pinnacle of technology, you bought an idea. The only yeah, way but- it could be worse is if you had that fucking think on your forehead <laughs> and you were trying to pay for it. You look the biggest douchebag in the world while looking have- through Google Glass. <laughs> did you have like a bump on the side of your head or like a bruise after using that? Yeah, because I did, my and head- I had really bad headaches for like the next two days. Oh my god! Really? So don't get that thing until it's been tested. Don't more. get that think. I see what you've done there. Uh, yeah, that hurt. Yeah. 
But uh, I had like I a bulge like right here. I, I don't know was. if you go back and you watch that video, uh, you can see like the the vein on the side of my forehead just like looks like it's gonna pop. You always have that vein out there. It's it was way it's, like you can't really <laughs> see it here. Look at the monitor. You can't really see it. But in that video, it's like very clearly it defined. Person. Yeah, in person you can see it, but yeah, if you look at the monitor, it's busting. Would you feel yeah. bad if you like ruined Gus's brain permanently? I think uh, there's I other would. there's other forces at work there. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> your liver. Mm. Ah, Can I have a, a beverage, please? Yeah, yeah, a beverage. Um, Thanks. So you just got back from New York Comic Con, Barbara. I did. How'd that go? It was amazing. It was me, Lindsay, Gray, Miles, and Carrie, and then uh, a bunch of people who were doing sales and stuff like that as well. But um, we showed a clip from Ruby Volume 3 and told people that it's going to premiere October 24th. I had people went it. ape. They went crazy. I think it's weird. I think New York is just a really big anime city, and New York Comic Con's like a really big anime show. Mm -hmm. So pretty much everyone waiting in line to see us was dressed in Ruby cosplay. And uh, I think someone said that we had the longest line at the con. That's cool. Which is bizarre to me because it's just like, we're just rooster teeth. Well, who mm -hmm. else was there? Yeah, it's true. Losers. Yeah, Brian Cranston. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. Breaking bads off the air. Get a new job, Brian Cranston. <laughs> <laughs> Cook some meds. Godzilla 2. Godzilla, you know, Ghost of Brian Cranston. He died in the first one. It's another spoiler for you. <laughs> he died like 20 minutes into that movie. Do you think that was in his contract? He's like, Dude, I don't want to be in this. <laughs> that, that was some fucking shady shit, right? That movie, like he's all over the trailer. Everyone's like, watch Godzilla starring Brian Cranston the whole time. And it was like the Kick-Ass Kid was not mentioned at all, like really, in any capacity. And then I'm sitting there watching the movie, and, and I'm, uh, as I discovered, this is the main character of the movie. You it's, fooled me. It's like Metal Gear Solid 2. You think you're going to get Snake the whole game, and it's like, oh, fuck, it's Raiden. You get fucking 30 minutes of Snake, and then have fun with Jack the Ripper. Who is it in the, in the latest Metal Gear? Who's the main character? Big Boss. Big Boss, yeah. Who's Snake's daddy, basically. His, His DNA dad? daddy. Oh. Yeah. But Snake Snake's a came clone. Out he's a clone. Of Big Boss. Well, he didn't come out of him, but he's got his <laughs> DNA. Yes, he didn't fire him from his body. <laughs> um, if that's what you're asking, he wasn't was, like a C-section machine. He was born machine. from his DNA. Gus, you would have you would had fun with us in New York. We went to a couple of gay clubs one night. I think you would have enjoyed. I saw it. You had fun. <laughs> you I saw, start that comment. You would have had really fun. Went to gay clubs. I saw yeah. a lot of. Uh, fun I think Gus would have enjoyed it. About it, it seemed, it seemed like a good time. Yeah. Who went? All of us. Everyone, everyone she just named? Yeah, everyone. I think even sales. Carrie actually took off before we went to them because he didn't want to come with us. Oh. Yeah, he didn't feel comfortable. I guess he didn't feel or comfortable. He I wouldn't feel comfortable either. If I was Carrie. You'd just be getting numbers all night. People it's fucking true. coming up to you. Dudes hitting on you left and right. He's saying Carrie's. Yeah. Carrie's got it going on. I'm saying like Carrie would would have gotten snatched up that <laughs> night. Somebody would somebody would have snatched him up. There was one place we went to which we just looked up places to go. I don't think it was a gay club. I think it was. A mix between a strip club and an escort service because Ooh. it was this tiny little room that had all these curtains <laughs> and stuffy. benches and like it was very small. There was more. No, wait, you, you got to. So you described the curtains and the benches to me earlier. I did. You need to go into a little more detail about this configuration of the curtains and the benches. So imagine a room about the size of the podcast set. This okay. is the bar right there. And this is the whole room. There was probably about, I want to say. 20 or so male strippers and like three people in there. We're just like bumping into each other. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like talking to each other, like hanging out somewhere on the bar, dancing. Literally hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> no, they they were wearing uh, some pretty like secure thongs. Okay. Yeah. Any cheetah cool. prints? Anything no. fancy? So what, no, the, then, and then what, what she said, what I found most interesting was that there were benches and then there were curtains immediately in front of the bench. Yeah, like you could see people's legs hanging off the benches. You could see people's legs hanging off the benches. Like, imagine us on the podcast set, but we had, like, a curtain right here. Oh, so they're being jacked off behind a curtain? It's like, if you want to take a quick ski trip... <laughs> <laughs> Did you want me to explain it just so you can make just that so joke? Yeah, he was waiting. He had to I do was it waiting. Himself. I was like, I got my skiing joke. <laughs> you probably don't know how to hear this. <laughs> Explain it. Let me set myself up. There's no need to explain it. <laughs> that you was such, get it or you don't. That was such a long setup for a for a six out of ten joke. <laughs> a six? Yeah. At least a seven point five. Six isn't bad. You moved your mic. What do it, you mean? It was that funny. Uh, well, it was funny that you set it up. Like the actual <laughs> the process was funnier than the joke. The bit was funnier than the joke. I'll give you that. Yeah. All right. That's comedy. That's that's, <laughs> that's, that's the Rooster Teeth podcast. Yeah. Almost three hundred fifty episodes. Nice. What was this one? Three four five. Uh, this is three forty five. Three forty five, right? Oh wow, three. Yeah. That's so I many hours. I asked for three fifty. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's huh? I'm excited for 350. Yeah, be it's a milestone. Be a cool milestone. Yeah. Hey, can decades. I be on it? Sure. Why not? Okay. Thanks. We'll guys. have you on. I want to be on it too. All right. I don't think I'll be here. Not you, Barbara. Mm-mm. Uh, God, we should plan something for that. I think about it. Normally, we're bad about planning stuff. I know Halloween's just a couple of weeks Just be away. bad about that, too, and do nothing. Yeah. It's uh, easy. There's a room, full of pe- room of people over there. Do something. There. See? Oh, for the Are they nodding? Yeah. Or for Halloween. <clears throat> no, Mariel said no. Do you know what you're oh. going as? Uh, I normally don't get dressed I up. I assume there's some sort of party happening somewhere. Yeah, is it like, there I, is. It's on a Saturday this year, so I never a good night for it. Make, like, so it's I'm always, a, it's a, a, it's always a problem. I don't want to go through the effort of finding a Halloween costume you because just, invariably I'm not going to do anything. I'm probably going to be at home. But then at the last minute, <laughs> if you find out, if I find out like, oh, there's something I really want to go do, then it's like, oh, fuck, well, I don't have a costume. Well, can so you just, just get, get one, one and just, if you yeah, don't use it. Yeah, it's like some shitty thing I'm going to go like to Target. No, and get, I'm like, get one now and just who cares? Just <laughs> use your, yeah, uh, you don't now. use it until 2018. Wear your Luigi you know, costume again. That's, who that's, cares? That's a prime example. I got invited to a party I wanted to at the last minute. I literally went to Target, and the only costume that was left in all of Target was like a child's Luigi costume. Sure went with it. It's perfect. And you I did. have it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to cut like, part of the, the crotch out <laughs> so that my legs could fit no. in. I wonder uh, if you guys could find a picture that's of that. That's awesome. Yeah, so you were crotchless, Luigi. See, that, that's, a, that's a scenario that of you hanging like out. It worked out perfect. Yeah. Uh, so that, in that case, that, that did work. If you could find it, I don't know. I posted a picture of it. I hope so. Um, what are you going to be, Michael? I don't know. Probably nothing. What were you last Slap year? it together last second. Did I didn't you even do anything last Probably year? didn't do anything. I don't remember. I don't usually do shit. Lindsay talks about Halloween every single think, year, especially right around September, like end of September. She'll go on and on about Halloween. And then... <laughs> That looks pretty good for, for child size. Like Your tough. dick's hanging out of there. Yeah, my yeah, dick is rather prominent in still, that photo. You're, you're pretty tall, man. <laughs> what child would fit into that? <laughs> the legs are <laughs> six one. The legs are halfway like up your shins. Look at that. That's for your child that's it five was re- foot ten. It was really stretched. <laughs> no, it's super short on him. That's supposed to be long sleeve. That looks amazing. I would. I think that's your size. Somehow the <laughs> biceps were still baggy though. <laughs> <laughs> that's Aww. true. <laughs> Work out. What are you uh, going to be, Gavin? Your dick costume's retired, isn't it? I said I would retire the penis after three, and I did three years. And it's, actually, it's funny because Meg really wants you to retire. Right? <laughs> the testicles <laughs> fell off. The last costume year. or his penis? Well, he's retired one of them already. <laughs> yeah, the so costume. I'm not. I'm not sure I'm going to be. There is a vagina costume, but it's. Don't be obscene. What? What's, how is that more obscene <laughs> than a penis? No, that's obscene, Gavin. You don't. You don't have the right. Just okay, go as a pair of lips. To be a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't you know if I could. You should go as a nose. You could just wear like do a uh, do like a uh, bodysuit. You know, like a green man suit, but cut out your nose so it's just the nose. <laughs> so I'm... You should get all black and then just have the nose, and then at night you'll just look like a nose. So I'm literally dressed up as my nose to scale. Yes. yes. That's yeah. stupid. Yeah. It's not a bad idea, honestly. <laughs> Gavin, I'm sorry, your nose no. is stupid. I'm sorry, your nose. You've been a giant dick the last what three years. Do, <laughs> <laughs> what we should do ridiculous. <laughs> would be really interesting is if we 3D scan your nose and then we print it on the 3D printer. Oh, and then you like, and I can dress up as his nose to scale. What, like legs coming out of each nostril? No, no, no. Like, just How the way did you get that? <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, How you... would we do that to scale? I said what? to scale. Oh, you mean like one to one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like massive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Then the legs come out of my nose, right? To scale? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I got excited by the big nose idea. We that could do that too. Yeah, that'd what? be better. The big nose is your normal nose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no one said you. to scale. <laughs> Our 3D printer might be a bit small for for a large wearable version of it. Oh, I'd wear Gavin's nose as a giant costume. I'd wear that. With your legs coming out? My leg, my legs coming out his nostrils, and then my face coming out somewhere at the top of his nose. And the boogies. There's no hole up there. That'd be stupid. Well, there'd have to be. I'm not gonna go blind, Gavin. We had some. <laughs> should we? I think should, I wanted. Should, should we talk about some of the crazy ideas for RTX that got scrapped? It's what from last year? Uh, or scrapped for this year? I was gonna say that you I, I want to like, do Harley Quinn for Halloween potentially. Oh, that'd be good for you. Yeah, it's a good one. I want to try that. Uh, here, it? let me let me read She's this, and I'm gonna think about hair. whether or not. <laughs> I want to tell this story. She is a woman. Uh, I want to remind everyone: this episode of the podcast is brought to you by SeatGeek. Uh, the NFL season has started. SeatGeek is the place to get tickets for this week's game. Uh, our listeners can use promo code TEETH in the SeatGeek app and get a $20 rebate off your first SeatGeek purchase. Uh, it'll take less than a minute to download the app today. SeatGeek does a ton of things other ticketing sites don't do. Uh, they pull in ticket options from hundreds of online ticket sellers to create a one-stop shop for tickets. 
When you shop on SeatGeek, you're seeing virtually every ticket option available for that game all on one page. There's no need to go anywhere else, shop around. Uh, I got a great feature called Deal Score. It ranks every ticket on the market with a 1 to 100 value score and plots the best deals on a color-coded interactive map so you can easily identify the best ticket values in the building at a glance. Uh, finally, SeatGeek's mobile app makes the ticket buying process seamless and easy. No more typing squiggly letters you can't read into a box like other sites make you do. On SeatGeek, you can store your credit card, and once you find a ticket you want to buy, you can complete the purchase with just two quick taps. There's no faster way to buy tickets. To redeem your promo code and save $20 on tickets, download the free SeatGeek app today and enter promo code TEETH in the app. SeatGeek will send you $20 once you've made your first SeatGeek purchase. Every ticket purchased on SeatGeek is backed by a 100% guarantee. Download it for free today and use promo code TEETH for $20 back after your first purchase. If you're going to go watch a sports event, why not? May as well, it's $23. Who doesn't want It's like if you went to the game and you found $20 on the ground, you'd pick it up. Do it. Um, that's my that's my sales pitch. It's like I agree, guys. I would pick up twenty dollars. You would, because you're not stupid. Do um, you know nice. anyone who wouldn't? Like, who wouldn't? See, if I say I would, you would probably make a Jewish comment. No, I wouldn't. I feel like even a billionaire would pick up a twenty. Would a they? billionaire? Yeah. Fuck no. Really? When would no. a billionaire ever see twenty dollars? But I'd make a point not to pick it up. I'd like <laughs> when set he's it wiping on fire. His ass, maybe? You would burn it. <laughs> I'd burn it. I would be like, Jeeves, burn that twenty. And I just keep walking. Isn't there some statistics? And then I tell Beeves behind him to film Jeeves burning. <laughs> Beeves and Jeeves. Yeah, I'm gonna have Jeeves and then Beeves. It gets worse the, the, the <laughs> newer you are. The newest guy's name Shithead. Shmeeves. <laughs> How does that work? Does he have to wait for the person in front of you to die? <laughs> <laughs> and like you I got you promoted to Jeeves. You take his name. <laughs> um, That'd be a good sitcom. Jeeves and Beeves. I'd watch it. Do, do you want to be Beeves? No. Oh, okay. Why do I get to be Beeves? Because I'm not gonna be Beeves. Let's be honest. Well, you'll be the billionaire. Yeah. Oh, we established been, that. I'm not. I mean, if it's about Beeves and Jeeves, I want to be Jeeves. All right. I mean, I think I'm more qualified being English. He does have the accent. Oh, hello, sir. Blah blah blah. I like how you had I to mean, put on an I accent. Mean, to be Beeves and Jeeves <laughs> should be what? English too. So you already have an English accent. Why did you have to? Like... I was doing posh. I was doing like upper class. I'm not upper class. Have you heard me? It sounded the exact same. No, it sounded a little no, deeper. Madam. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he pretends to be British, he's a man, so he puts on. Oh, okay. I'm talking like this now when I'm British. <laughs> so, <laughs> your your giant nose comment. I'm gonna tell a story. Your giant nose comment reminded me about something that we wanted to do, but that we ended up scrapping. Yeah. Uh, this year's RTX. And uh, so every year we go through this process where I think up really stupid. Crazy off the wall ideas, and uh, uh, it's just like, you know, just like fun. And this year, one of the ideas that we had—did you just describe fun? Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, that we scrapped was I wanted to have these giant bobbleheads constructed for every like on-screen cast member, but it would be like imagine if you had a bobblehead, or like, but it was just the head, and the head was like six feet tall, like a mascot, and someone could get inside of it and walk around as your giant head. Sounds terrifying. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. But the thing is, is that you wanted to wear your own yeah, and, and then, walk like, around. You could wear your own head and like hide in plain sight as like a giant six foot version of your own head. There was a time you were seriously considering that. Yeah, I feel like, like we had we had specked out like how to build suspenders into it and how all the rigging went would work. Yeah, it? like we had we I had diagrams like mine, for all of it. Whoever wore mine would have had the shit kicked out. <laughs> 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 you could have made them all race. That would have been really yeah, cool. Yeah, like, that's like a, you see that like at baseball games yeah. and, and stuff like that. Next or, year. Oh, I'm sad that you didn't do it. Maybe next year, but I, I said it now, so we'll probably never do it. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but just I mean, like, for personal use, we could have them. Yeah, you've already, it sounds like you've already got the specs. Oh, you my. don't want to throw it away. I had the most oh amazing, maybe the most amazing coincidence that's ever happened to me in my, in my entire life. Wow, that's that's a bold claim. So I was on uh, Facebook, and some you know people post just shite on Facebook, like, "Oh, do this thing. It's not interesting." There was a thing <laughs> where you type, you just you just put in your date of birth. And uh, it tells you how many days you've been alive, and I was kind of curious. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll put in my date of birth. Probably so they can just take my date of birth, and right. now they have that information, but I don't care. It's already on my Facebook. It, I put it in, and I pressed submit, and it said 10,000. I was like, seriously? The, the only day I've ever checked to see how many days old I am? I'm exactly 10,000 days old? Like, what are the chances of that? That's I, ridiculous. That's I saw, mental. I saw you tweet about it, yeah. and I figured you had planned this a long no. time in advance, and it set, like, a reminder for yourself about it. I was exactly 10,000 days old, and that was on Friday or something. That's, that mental. is crazy. It yeah. blew my mind. I was like, did I do it wrong? Like, am I, did I mess it up? <laughs> it was weird. I guess it takes into account all the leap days. You're 27? Yeah. Hmm. 
But you made it longer than I thought you would. 10, me too. 000. Like, congrats, I'm in five man. figures now. So Congrats. Are you. Well, you know, we've got about 400 days on you, little bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's uh, that is that is a crazy coincidence. You did not oversell mm. the the scale of that coincidence. Yeah, I felt really jealous after you you made that comment. I was like, oh, how many days have I been alive? That's oh, not a cool number. No. And I was like, what's it going to take for me to get there? No. <laughs> well, what was your what life was future it? date? Twenty thousand. Oh yeah, for twenty thousand, you have to be like fifty four or something. Oh. And I, was like, I didn't think you'll make that. Yeah, I was like, what about <laughs> what about fifteen thousand? I'm I probably won't. I don't know why y'all are laughing. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because you won't. Uh, then I think fifteen thousand was like forty one or something. You could do that. I might be able to make it. We'll see. We'll hang, hang in, in there. there, man. Hang, hang in, in there, there, kitty. Um, shit, what was I going to say? I don't know. You said something about Gavin's nose again. Something or? about Gavin's nose and its legs. Um, it's nose heavy let's today. fix it, right? Fix his nose? Yeah, we should like film that fixing your nose. It's been broken for so long. But it's part of his look. Yeah, you can't but like, that. think how many views that would get. Smashing my nose? You can't put that online. Into place. Still, the blood would be tremendous. We'd fix it. We'd get a rag. No, like you just get someone to punch you. We can this edit. Way. Well, I don't know why everyone goes right to punching, but I mean, if that's what it comes to, we'll have to do that. Like, but why didn't Owen Wilson probably, uh, fix his nose? Because it became it's a great his question. look. Yeah, yeah, but it became his look after he didn't fix it. My first instinct would be fix it. <laughs> right? <laughs> you get your nose broken. You it's take care of such that? like a. It's such like a middle feature of your face. It'd be. It is exactly it, a middle feature of your face. Imagine if that went wrong. <laughs> it's in the middle of it. It already face. has gone wrong. It's gone wrong. We've seen what happened. Are, but people are comfortable with it. No, I understand. I'm Shake with it up. It's like you don't want to. You don't want to mess with that. It's like a it trademark look. It could be so much better. I am. Don't so... you want it to be better? <laughs> but if, if his nose was like fixed and correct, we would not at all talk about like scanning it and 3D printing yeah. it. Everyone's got to have their own we thing, might, right? We might. We nah. might. Right we now, Gavin's nose is like, look at that thing. It's fucking huge and ugly. You know, I don't say it, but some people do. Uh, but what if it became, <laughs> look at Gavin's nose. It's amazing. I want a nose like that. Yeah, but That's this, what it could be. Whose nose, nose do you say that so about? It's so close. This nose no one's yet, Barbara, you didn't fix it. <laughs> it's not only broken, it's just big anyway. So even if it was fixed, it's Big still... and beautiful, baby. Just get some of these. Fix it. <laughs> I'm okay with having a thing. It could be my nose. Like, Gus has got his absurd eyebrows. Hey! What? <laughs> it's come about me. <laughs> Look at it. Look. My eyebrows are absurd. Gus also has a really They're big very, nose. They're very distinguishing. I do have a big I, nose. If the hairdresser starts How come we never talk about that? Because I sit next to him. Gus also has a really big nose. It's just wider than Gavin's. It's also... It's, it's pretty normal next to Gavin. That's why I sit next to him. Yeah. We planned you, this. That's a smart move. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to help you out, Gavin. I can't connect to the Wi-Fi, so I can't stream this to the you TV. But someone well, made thanks, a. Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> someone made a mock-up of, of your nose as a Halloween costume. I like that they went with the green legs. Yeah. If you want to key it out, Gus is uh, also the color of boogers. Some yeah. sort of nose so, costume. Oh yeah, they're like bogies yeah. coming out. Thanks, yeah, uh, that's... Cody Smith, CMS Verk, on uh, on Twitter for that. That's good. Hmm. I don't know why your nose oh, has dude. like a switch on the side. Here, here's I don't know if you the, saw that. Here's the <laughs> Here's the idea for the next RTX. Everyone has their own nose, and then we do nose jousting. And if I don't win, I'll be annoyed. If I could, like, just split another nose in half with mine, that'd be amazing. <laughs> it's a little graphic. How would you, how would you joust that? Like, your nose is on the end of a pole? Like run into or, like, no, no, I mean the like, nose. They'd actually just smash into other. Yeah, like, you just run them. I'm saying I'll be unstoppable. Will you run them with what? With your legs inside. Oh, like the, the giant six at. foot nose yeah. you're talking about. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, okay. It's confusing. Oh, okay. I thought you talking about like wearing noses. I'm like, then you're just smashing your faces together. <laughs> what drives the nose? How do the we legs keep, drive the nose. How gotcha. do we keep getting confused on the exact same subject? No that's idea. It's just crazy, man. Nose idea. But, uh, that's Thanks, what makes Bart. for entertaining content. <laughs> uh, so I, 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 we got way off track. Did we? I Were we on track at some point? I wanted to talk more about New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, we started, and then we ended up talking about skiing and all well, this you other did. stuff. I, I it's got a long setup to your own joke. Sure. <laughs> talking about noses. Um, so, I'm always, I'm always really curious, because I feel like most events don't understand what Rooster Teeth does. Mm -mm. So, you know, they try, to, they try to organize these events, like, oh, all of you know, this type of product goes here, all of this type of content creators go here, and then we're like wherever they think we fit. Yeah, we're usually in like the vendor hall. Right, so like at San Diego Comic-Con, we're in the web comics area. Web comics don't even exist anymore, I don't think, but we're under a giant banner that says maybe, web Is that because of Penny Arcade, maybe? Uh, who fucking knows? Penny Wait. Arcade's not even there anymore. But they do, they do a web comic still. Yeah, but they don't do San Diego Comic-Con. 
Oh, Maybe true. they want them to come back. But they used to be, I think, across the aisle. They used us. to be, yeah. Uh, so, right. so like, what was what were the booths around you at New York Comic Con? Um, it was like a lot of comic books, a lot of T-shirt vendors. I didn't see any games around us or anything like that. So, pretty much just like people doing sales. <clears throat> hmm. But we were the only people who were doing autographs and stuff like that, as usual. Mm-hmm. And we had other um, exhibitors come up to us, like as we were signing, one time with me and Lindsay, and they're just like, "You got to move your line." It's in front of our booth. And I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Like, get con staff to have it managed mm-hmm. or something. It's just like... Also, you're yeah. welcome for all the traffic. Right. If it was booth. me, yeah. I would be super grateful because I would have people I'm constantly trying to sell to yeah. in front of my booth. That's what Mega64 says all the time at San Diego Comic Con. They're just like, we love it. It's a captive audience that we could just sell things to while they're waiting in line. You get three hours to look at shit around you. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Yeah. I'm looking at that for three hours. Maybe I'll, I'll buy, buy it. it. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that... I, they, they, I could see why they're upset, but they, it's like the whole, like, it's weird for me to say it. Like, they should be optimistic about it. And look, at it, it's like the glass is half full. There is, there are people there you could take money from. Also, like, I don't want to compare us to an actual celebrity, but like, if Elijah Wood or someone was signing oh, at a booth, did, though. would you are go you up? Are you Elijah Wood? Yeah, well, kind of. We've worked with him, so, yeah. It's true. We're on the same level. Would you go up to him and be like, hey, your line's too long. Manage it. <laughs> No, of course not. You'd get con security or something like that. Yeah. It was just like, what do you want us to do? I'm sorry. We're yeah. in, in the middle of doing this shit. So It's very hard to move a line once it's formed, too. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of people to shift everyone back and make gaps and stuff. It's I don't know crazy. what it is, but the New York Comic Con <clears throat> staff, I don't know if you remember this from 2011, but they're just like nowhere to be seen. <laughs> like yeah. I, I don't I don't think I saw a single volunteer all weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I don't know where they are. Well, it's the same thing like at... Uh in San Diego, it's like you don't see them unless they're there to tell you you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like there, there's no. Or unless someone passes like out Batman. in front of your booth. In your booth. <laughs> On your booth. <laughs> oh, God. I, don't think, I don't think we even saw them then. The only people we saw were the fucking paramedics. Um, uh, I shouldn't be laughing. It was funny. She was okay. We I sold there. a lot of stuff over her body. <laughs> <laughs> she lived. You, me, and uh, Michael and Chris were there in 2011 at New York Comic Con. That was a time ago. That was a, a good time. Yeah. The only place we went to on that trip was that Irish bar, I think. Yeah, it was like across the street from the hotel. We yeah. went there several times. God, I got so drunk. That's where you arm wrestled each other? Mm. Yeah, I didn't remember a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I forgot I, we arm wrestled. I have that, Is that awful a video picture of, that? of myself. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I was rocking an LG chocolate at the time, so I didn't film <laughs> it. It's not on my phone. I'll see my, I, I have a photo that photo where I'm like getting ready to arm wrestle Barbara, I think. Yeah, he arm wrestled yeah. Barbara. And I was like was going really through my photos the next it. day, like, what and he the beat me. Fuck he beat happened? Yeah. <laughs> it was like when we were in London that time and I found all those videos on my phone of me like tackling you over, over your bed oh, and yeah. us arguing about the style. Wasn't Wars he in his underwear too? <laughs> yeah, we went <laughs> to get ice. We were, like running in your underwear. Oh, yeah, now. I remember that. And then we ran into each other. It was classic. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was Gus. Gus arm, res- arm wrestled Barbara. I can't remember who orchestrated that. I think it was me because after you had kicked my ass, I felt no, bad. No, because I arm wrestled you, you after. Oh, was it? I think so. Was that after? I Maybe it was after. I just remember that. He I arm wrestled. I just remember I arm wrestled Chris and then Gus, and Gus arm wrestled me and Barbara. <laughs> That's all I remember <laughs> from that. Let's see, I, okay. And Gus, Gus, when I beat him, he said something along the lines of beforehand, like I have no dick. Something about not having a dick. I and when no when dick. I won, he yelled, "I have no dick!" <laughs> in the bar. Because we were on the second floor. We also were like the there. only people there. It was empty on the yeah. second floor. If you arm wrestled every single person at this company, would you win 50% or more? Do, do we have... Uh, I'd say he'd win 30%. Do we have 30%. Apple TV by any There's chance? a lot of people at this company, though. I bet there's tons of people you could beat. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if he could beat over 50%. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can get this photo. Do you see it? Is it not there? No? No? All right. Hey, come uh, back to it. Just let it sit. Yeah, so... <laughs> we'll cut it in. And then oh, it's like if you like... Zoom in. I'm just like, <laughs> out of it. like I'm, not, I'm not there. Um, you weren't there. Could I beat 50% of the people in this company? Absolutely not. You think you'd fail to let more than 50%? Absolutely. Well, wow. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are just like athletic in this company compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this is, here's the, the photo. And then if you like <laughs> zoom in, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the worst I'm, photos of I'm, me. I'm pretty sure you or Esther, at least for the next like two days, one of you had that as your lock screen it's too. I had, it, I had it for years. <laughs> you had it for years. <laughs> oh my god! With the zoomed in picture. Or the yeah. big picture? No, it was the zoomed in. It was, it was just in. Gus's face. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that from that weekend. You showing me your phone. 
You got, you got to embrace it. Like, that was on. also, that was when I met Kevin, the drug dealer. It was oh, right. that New York Comic Con oh, yeah. trip in 2011. That's also where I met that. That guy's fucking famous now. Do you think he knows? I, I hope not. <laughs> we should do a documentary. Finding Kevin. No, I'm good. Why? Because he'll, like, kill me. Do you remember what he looks <laughs> like? I went to jail. No, I don't remember what he looks like, no. I was like, I remember right after the podcast where I talked about it. I'm like, yeah, the guy was standing right here. This is exactly where he was. And he was... Two months after, and probably not even two months after it happened, ever, ever since then, I, I was, it was like, the next week. I wonder if he ever got picked up. I hope he doesn't kill me. I hope he never finds out. Yeah, there's this drug dealer right outside this hotel. I'll tell you exactly where he is. I think like a month after we went to that New York Comic Con, that was back in 2011, like a month or two after that, there was something, you know, there's always like, there's those shitty, stupid ass websites so like paparazzi photos of celebrities that all they do is post photos of celebrities walking in and out of buildings. There was one of, I forget, I even don't remember who it was, some celebrity like walking into like a sex shop in New York. And I was like, I remember that shop. That's like a block away from where Kevin was. It was like just down the street yeah. from area. where we were staying. I yeah. remember, I had people up until like last year, like in 2014, I got a tweet that was like, found Kevin's store, and it was the fucking place, like across wow. the street. Like I've described where it is, and this, the store is still open. People were like, I can't believe I made it. And they you ruined his spot. <laughs> Did they buy drugs from him? That's a real question. I don't know. I mean, they left that part out if they did. They what probably was, just went in and had, what was his stock? had sex. What do you have? He didn't really tell me. Oh. You have to go into the alley to find out. He didn't have like a coat with like all the different, like a watch salesman. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't whip it out. He, uh, his thing was more like monetarily. How okay. much do you have? You'll get like, yeah. depending on like your perk. Yeah. What's you your know, it's like my backer level. It's like what's your fucked up budget? Yeah, we got basically. drugs for every level. Yeah, and then in addition that, to the drugs, where does that cap? There's sex think? across the street. Where's the cap end? Yeah, like if you said, yeah, I got twenty grand on me. Is he like have this massive brick of? Uh, cocaine? Cocaine. <laughs> I don't think Kevin had 20 grand. I doubt he's on. carrying that. Okay. Yeah, because then somebody else would just... <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think he had somebody it. Somebody else would mug Kevin He seemed like that. a, uh, like a five to ten thousand dollar drug dealer. Really? You know, maybe. Interesting. Not bad. It's pretty you well know, off. Yeah, it, maybe a couple grand. Maybe, maybe like, you know, five, yeah. Have, Three to eight. <laughs> have you ever seen the people in uh, New York who sell stuff like that? Like, not necessarily just drugs, but like watches or whatever, who's like, they've got like a briefcase, like, like hey, you want to buy a watch? Worse. I've seen yeah. a million of them. Kevin was up, he was like, dude, I got drugs, you want to buy drugs? Those people are terrible. Like, like the watches and the this yeah. and that and the knockoff it's like, shit. Look, it's a real gold watch. Like, why, why do you have 50 real gold watches in a briefcase? <laughs> <laughs> like, this does, already, like, this, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, it's New a York's, real Rorex. New York. <laughs> what? <laughs> New York's especially bad too with the the panhandlers like giving out shit and then trying to charge you for it. Oh, yeah. Like I'll give you this CD, man. It's free. It's free. Hey, can you donate to my rap career? It's like, all right, you son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Or if there's ever like a couple, they'll do the like give, you know, whoever, you know, the female or what have you, the rose mm -hmm. or whatever. Like it's free. That'll be ten dollars yeah. to the other person. Fuck off. One time, so, but do you look like, like a piece of shit then by turning down a rose for your bird? No, I it's like fuck you. If your if your bird is like, I can't believe you didn't let that guy scam you out of ten dollars, then she's an idiot. Yeah. One time, I'm gonna, <laughs> buy you something, I'm gonna go buy you something. It's not like this man's accosted me on the street. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, I got it for you. Yeah, how sentimental. I had I had almost like the next level up from that here in Austin. One time, I was driving out of the H E B over there, like the Hancock Center H E B. And I was driving through the parking lot, and I was getting ready to pull out onto 41st Street, and this car's pulling in, like, right where the Freebirds is. So I'm, like, in the parking lot, and this car pulls in, and he's, like, he turned in front of me and then, like, kind of stopped right next to me. And so, like, our driver's windows are right by each other, and he rolls his window down, he's like... So I'm like, uh oh, something must be wrong with my car, right? Like, this guy's trying to flag me down. So I roll my window down, and the guy, like, leans out the window, and he goes... <clears throat> he goes, hey... You look like a guy who enjoys rap music. You want to buy a CD? <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> While you're driving? While I'm driving, we stopped cars in the parking lot. What the fuck? Did you just do the window up in his face? Oh, I, 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 I must have had the most confused look on my face. I was like, what? <laughs> I just drove off. <laughs> Impactful. But that's captive audience because, like, if someone tries to like give me something or sell me something on the street, like, I don't stop. I don't listen. Yeah, you don't expect it when you're in a car. I was on yeah, the that's that's true. I was on the New York subway this trip because I got lost downtown and I couldn't I didn't I didn't want to take a Uber back because it would have taken an hour in the rain. You went alone into the subway in New York? Yeah. Jesus. I used to live in Montreal, so I'm used to subways. It, let's ignore the back. fact that I got Not on used going to the, the wrong murder way. though. No. <laughs> but um there was a, a lady that got on one of the stops 
that clearly was like a meth addict or something. And she had a cup and like the sign around her neck that said she was like a single mom and is looking for money. And she went on this big rant. She's like, attention, everyone. Oh, God. I am a single mother. And she like went on this whole rant and everyone's just ignoring her, of course. But then she went up to each person with her cup. And every single person, she would like talk to them trying to get the money, uh, money for herself. And at one point, someone was just like, no, thanks, man. And she was like, all right, well, God bless you. And then she started coughing into my fucking face. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, I probably have some type of STD at this point. I'm going to get off and wait for her to leave and then get back on. Oh you actually got God. off the train? I got caught. I got coughed on by a homeless lady on a New York subway. Was your mouth open? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a valid question. <laughs> Is it? I feel like she would have mentioned that, though. You'd be like, right. I ate this woman's <laughs> cough. <laughs> Tasted awful. It tastes like crystal meth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have you seen the mugshot of that woman who got arrested in Florida? No. And her name's Crystal Methany? Oh, God, no. What? Okay, How? look it up. See if you can find Why? it. Why? That has to be a joke. I've seen it, like, I've seen several different versions of it. I cannot find any article disproving it. <laughs> oh, my God. What kind of fucked up parents would name their daughter Maybe she Crystal? Maybe changed it, though. Maybe it was just like, I love my hobby, I'll change my name. It's like Jeff changing his name to Laser. Yeah, Same he, thing. he did it. He's like, he went, she went to the courthouse, she had to change her name to Crystal. They're like, middle name's free too, Methany. <laughs> Why not? Oh, not her last name. I, I, all it says is Crystal Methany. That's all I remember. Oh, okay. Um, there, there it is, they found it. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Arrested. For what? I wonder. <laughs> well, maybe it's the opposite. Like she's like she wanted to change her name to Crystal. Like last name's free too. Sweet. <laughs> Methany. Methany. It's all included. Wow. <laughs> where, where, where's so your family just... from? <laughs> Florida. <laughs> there's, there's no way that was a real name, right? It could have no, been. No, there's no way. Methany. Maybe her parents are just really, really dense. Methany, but that's her last name. Methany. No one. It's not a real last name. How do you know? It could be. Bullshit. Where does that come from? Our what is, family well, was what proud, is Methany in origin Our of? family were proud meth farmers <laughs> in the Middle Ages. In yeah. <laughs> in I don't Europe. know, man. You never I don't know. know. I don't know. We, 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 us and the Millers. I can buy the crystal part. I don't know if I can buy the Methany part. Methany. Oh, Has anyone ever coughed in your face? Um, Do you want them to? It can happen live. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I, that, it must have happened. I can't think of a time. I was right trying now. to think of like the grossest thing that ever went in my mouth. Probably a fart from the public. Do you remember when we were at Acon in Dallas? The grossest we, thing that ever went in my mouth. We got we got on a really in crowded is what he said. <laughs> we got a really crowded lift. Yeah. And this guy like smushed against me, and he had these like massive sweaty dreadlocks, and one of them went in my mouth. I remember oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was just like. <laughs> And Gus was just like, oh, I saw it. I saw it happen. Yeah, and they, then, were, um, they were like thick, too. They were huge. They dreads. were moist. Yeah. There, there's some stuff living in dry looks like that. <laughs> that was like nine years ago. That was my first. I think that was my first time doing anything with rooster teeth. Really? Yeah. It was your first event? Getting, getting dreadlocks in your mouth. Oh. The grossest that's, thing that's my only memory of Dallas is that sweaty dreadlock mouth. The grossest thing I can think of is uh, when I was growing up, I had a bunk bed at one point in my room, and my oldest brother was on the top of the bunk eating Taco Bell, <laughs> and he was chewing it, and a friend of mine was over, and he was talking, and he looked up, and a piece <laughs> fell out of his mouth and into his mouth. A piece of taco fell in his mouth while he was talking. <laughs> It was amazing. He fucking <laughs> lost it. That's so awful. It was fucking <laughs> gross. It's like, it's like food isn't bad enough. It's got to be Taco Bell. Wait, was it chewed up Taco Bell or yeah, was it just like no, a it was, no, it was chewed up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a chewed up taco. It fell out of his mouth. I feel. Oh. I feel like. Oh. I feel like I have a defective mouth or defective lips because I feel like. <laughs> I'm always drooling or dropping food out of my mouth Dude, by accident I don't really, all the time. I don't drop food that much, but I'll drool. Yeah. I'm, it's like, I'm right there with you. Like, you've mentioned that before, the drooling went around Lindsay, and I've heard it be like, oh, Michael does that yeah. all the time. I've seen you, like, foam at the mouth almost at some points when you get really excited about something. Yeah. I've seen yeah. stuff. Like, it's happened before, like, where I'll, like, I'll be standing or talking to someone and be like, oh, blah, blah, oh, oh, and I drooled over <laughs> totally, myself. Like, I totally like, do that. I'm just, like, covered, <laughs> covered in saliva now. Cool. There's nothing you could do but in the middle of talking say, I'm drooling on myself. Because yeah. everyone's just like, I, did you just have a fucking stroke? <laughs> you what? have to acknowledge it. 
You what, just what's like, the name, in front of it. What's the name of that little bakery that's by the Driscoll? Like, or attached to the oh, Driscoll? Oh, Cafe 1886? Yeah, we were there once, and... You like, had a glass of orange juice, and it, you put it all in your mouth, and then like half of it just <laughs> fell out of your mouth, I, like all over the plate. Yeah. And everyone was just like, "Gus, <laughs> what?" It's like if like if there were the seals at the corners of my mouth. It's like that doesn't close right or something <laughs> because that's where it I always happens. Seals. Do you have a weird bite? No, like, my bites. It was enough to like make an audible splash on the table. It's just like, <laughs> and we were just like, "Oh!" And again, it's okay? like you have to own it because we were like, "Are you okay?" Like, is something like no. I, I just drool. Yeah. Do you guys ever gleek? I don't yeah. gleek. I can't gleek on demand, but it has happened. Yeah. It happens to me at the dentist all the time. Did I tell you about the time where I was stacking veg at Waitrose and I- <laughs> He almost killed the baby? Whoa. Yeah, no, I heard that before. It was different to the baby incident, but I gleeked and it got stuck on. Hmm? Like, stuck I, on what? Like, it got stuck uh, and it was just like- kept coming? Yeah, it was like contractions. <laughs> it was like- it was like- <laughs> So I was like stacking oranges or something, I was like- <laughs> and I was like, oh, 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 mm. <laughs> and like there were customers around me, and I was just spraying like small jets of saliva into the fruit. <laughs> Weird. Neither. Yeah, and it's the only time I've ever got like stuck in gleek mode, but it was, <laughs> it was like five or six contractions, and I just couldn't stop it. It's so bizarre. Isn't yeah. it only, does it happen like if your mouth is open and you try to swallow at the same time, isn't that how you do it? I think you have to just piss off the, uh, one of the glands and yeah. it just jizzes. Oh. Yeah, I think it's like, yeah, I think it's like a salivary gland that just Some like, people can do it on demand. Yeah, I just like your <laughs> description of it. I like someone reporting to a manager like, "Excuse me, your employee is streaming small jets of saliva <laughs> all over the fruit, all over the orange." You really need to do something about that. It's at least like it was. Uh, at least it was sprinkler. oranges. Yeah, they got skin. Yeah, they have a cover. To tell you what, yeah. biting an orange with its skin on, not good. It is have you not done good. That? I've done that. Why? Did recently. That very recently. Because we were filming something. Oh. It's, it's Upcoming gross. video for. You also drank team. something really old. Hmm. Okay. Have you seen the those? cryptic portion of the podcast? Yeah, I'd never heard of them, but there was a thing called Pepsi Crystal or something. Yeah, Crystal, Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi. There you go. <laughs> I remember and that. I, <laughs> I don't think we had them in England, but there's, there's like a craze going around the internet now where people are getting hold of them and uh, drinking them now. Oh God! And nobody can keep them down. Like yeah. they're really small, and everyone just like downs them and immediately throws up. Oh, it's like I want to try. Can we get me one? What's yeah. wrong with them? I don't know. Keep it down, it's because they're or old. I won't. Yeah, like so they've, they've just... gone bad. They go. They go slightly yellow. Wow! And everyone vomits within like three why minutes. Would, why would? Why would? Dude, they try to send me. It? So crystal Pepsi. I loved when crystal Pepsi, crystal Pepsi probably crystal came out in ninety one. I think it, they said it was discontinued like Pepsi. in ninety three. Okay, so I remember I loved crystal Pepsi because at the time I was um, like a broke teenager, and in order to promote crystal Pepsi, they had that promotion where it's like if you unscrew the cap, you might win something. If you just went to the fun convenience store, you could look through the bottom of the bottle and look <laughs> for the one that said you win clear. a free drink. So it's like <laughs> I paid for one crystal Pepsi ever, and then it's like I would just look to the bottom and I could find another one. There's a free drink, and it's just like. Free drinks all the time. They, there's no way they could have made money off of that. I, I guarantee you that's one of the reasons they had to have discontinued Dude, that. Remember the good old days? Like, that would never happen now. Like, the equivalent now is some fucking smart nerd is like, I left this, this fucking sequence open and I hacked right in. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, ah, that'll never be me because I'm an the, idiot. The internet exists now, so. But back in the day, it's like, no one thought of doing this <laughs> <laughs> looking through a fucking bottle. Through a clear, oh, there, oh, God. There oh, is that is. the old stuff? Yeah, that's, so even, that's, that's even in a glass bottle. It looks like piss. Is that glass? No, yeah, it goes slightly- Send it to me now! It goes slightly yellow. Oh my god, who would even like attempt to Do you, you want to try it, it oh, if we get one? The, okay, that bottle's from 1990. Yeah, oh, okay. I'll drink it. Yeah, wow. I'll totally- that's it? I'll totally yeah. drink it. It looks like that after 20 years? 25 years? 25 years? I just want to know like what- A quarter century? What in there is going- Yeah, I guess that's a pretty long time. Is going so reactive with the stomach. Like what's happening in that drink? Mm -hmm. Or what has happened in 20 years? I'll beat it. It turned to crystal. I'll keep it down. I, you really? <laughs> it turned to crystal pepsiny. All right, let's, can we stop? That was, no, that was bad. Barbara said it was bad? Wow. What? It's, it's rare that I get met with that level of silence, so I'm going to say it again. Crystal <laughs> pepsiny is a callback to crystal methany. Is an earlier joke? Should we get it on the screen? And write? Like, maybe my mic's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds the broadcast of the joke he's telling. Yeah. Okay. So if, if anyone has one, uh, send it in. I'll drink it. I'll Address drink it to one, Michael. and but we, make we'll sure film it. make sure it's sealed. Otherwise, yeah, we won't drink pee it. Pee in it. Oh wait, someone someone just tweeted that or do. Oh no, he totally no, threw don't. up. I thought they said that someone had actually managed to keep it down, but the thumbnail is him vomiting. Dude, yeah, you kept it down. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh. So it just says a couple I minutes? fucked up. Yeah, it, it just says I fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I've watched a few videos of it, and I it's around three minutes where I it just can't erupts believe you've furiously. never told me about this, Gavin. So You're like, keeping things from me. At that point, is it like Epicac? Mm, Maybe that's what yeah. it's become. <laughs> Maybe that's what they got Epicac. Just they took, they took Crystal Pepsi. Did, did you see that they're going that Pepsi's going to make a limited edition of Pepsi Perfect to commemorate like the Back to the Future Two uh, anniversary? Oh, because I guess it. like in the future they had Pepsi Perfect. They were Perfect. giving a whole, away a whole bunch at New York Comic Con, and they said they would give one to anyone dressed as uh, Marty McFly. Oh, really? And so I think it was Sunday morning. There was just a sea <laughs> of probably. Four or five hundred people dressed as Marty McFly. <laughs> that explains that, because I saw that photo with no context, and I was just like, all right. Yeah. Some kind of Back to the Future thing I going on I there. I don't know how don't that know many is. people found That's it. That's a marketing campaign that you know, was for a free fucking Pepsi. <laughs> That's good, They're dude. selling that Pepsi Perfect for like 20 bucks, I think. 20 bucks a bottle. And Holy maybe, shit. Maybe 23 years from now. They'll make you vomit. Oh, there it is. That's, oh. that's oh, from the movie, okay. Well, yeah. that's okay. No, to be fair, it's pretty yeah. cool. So here's what I'll do. I'll buy two. I'll drink one now, and I'll drink one, one in 20 years. 25. 25. 25 years. Okay. I've been sure. corrected. If I'm alive, then Almost 26. Long. If you're alive, then by the time you hit your 20,000th day... Cool back. Can I have Earth. that on my 20,000th day? Sure. I'll drink that Pepsi and keep it down. A 54-year-old Michael... <laughs> You'll definitely be Pepsi dead perfect. by then. <laughs> For sure. Oh, that's really depressing. 100%. When he's 54? Yeah. Yeah, if I make it to 54. How old are you? Are you? You're 37? Yeah. You're the youngin, too. I am the young so one. You're only, you you're only nine years older than him. Yeah, yeah but the same so age then, as, I'll be the same age as my brother. Yeah, you'll be alive. The brother with the Taco Bell, same age as you. The <laughs> yeah, who's, you're you 63. Are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think that one day when we're a lot older, it'll be cool to listen to all these podcasts no. as we progress. It's uh, already life. weird to me to listen because we've been doing them for, you know, since 2008. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm already worried that I won't have enough time to listen to them all like, before I die. It's, like, it's when do you start doing that? When are you going to die? <laughs> you should oh, ask someone and let, just and so they, many let you know. There's so many hours of content. So I, many hours it's, of drivel. It's, it's weird to think so why that. why do you want to listen to it? I, don't know, it's like, like, I can't oh, wait I was, to listen to this drivel. It'll be like, oh, I was an idiot when I was 20. Oh, I was an idiot when I was 27. It, it's an, basically and it all the breaks down to like an audio diary of your life. Like I've been on almost every episode since you know for seven years now. So to think back and listen to things that were happening to me then, like listen yeah. to how excited I'm about Lost. Yeah, you know, yeah. seven years ago. Or uh, I just want to hear myself complain about stuff and be like, "You idiot, that's not a real." It's problem. funny because I even think about that now. Like you know, we talk fairly amount, fairly often about like Game of Thrones. You know, Breaking Bad was even you know a year and two two years ago now. I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, but to, yeah, to me, Lost is like one of the oldest podcast discussion. You mm -hmm. know, that's like the OG TV show going on during the podcast. And I was just thinking about the other day. I was like, man, it's gonna be fucking weird when Game of Thrones is like seven years old. Yeah, you know, like or it's holy like, yeah, shit. Yeah, off the air. Um, here, let me, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this other thing. Uh, Want to remind everyone this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Squarespace. Start building your website today at squarespace.com. Uh, for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. With Squarespace, your site will look professionally designed regardless of skill level, no coding required. They have an intuitive and easy to use tools and Squarespace has state-of-the-art technology powering your site to ensure st security and stability. Trusted by millions of people and some of the most respected brands in the world, Squarespace starts at eight bucks a month and you get a free domain if you sign up for a year. Start your free trial today with no credit card required at squarespace.com. When you, when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to visit squarespace.com slash roosterteeth for a free trial and to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, build it beautiful. It's actually really cool. You don't have to put any money in. You don't have to put your credit card in. You can sign up. You can design a website to see what it would look like, see if you even like it. And then if you decide you like it, you can sign up and then uh, get 10% off your purchase right there uh, using, by going to squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. Love it. Everyone should have their own website. Go do it. I, you know, I didn't own my own, I didn't own my last name. Like, I own the domain .com. I don't do anything with it. Uh, but my last name's kind of unusual, so I never bought it. And then, like, one year, some fucking asshole bought it. Uh, I was thinking it was, like, an insurance salesman bought it and, like, put his, like... Was his name Torola? Yes, and he put, like, his insurance company website on it. I was like, motherfucker. What do you think methany.com is? Can we find out? Let's find out. <laughs> hey. Um, so then, and then that's what convinced me finally. I was like, I got, I got to fucking buy it. So now I just have it like on the longest you even use, you use it for email? Do you have like Gus no, at Sorolla? Nope. I don't That'd use it. That'd be such a cool email address. I don't use it for anything. I just, it's just parked. I don't want anyone else using it. Do you think... Methany.com... Do you think Jones like is taken? 
find yourself a meaningful. What? Do you think Jones is Probably. taken? Probably. I don't think so. The website? What? Is, do you think Michael Jones is taken? <laughs> To see oh, you're being sarcastic. I get it. Yeah. Is uh, the Jones International Corporate website. What? I don't know them. Michael. I was born. You related to them? I was born. They were like, listen, uh, no one will ever be talking about you ever when they say your name, <laughs> just so you know. There's always someone Michael else. Michael or Jones. It will never be you. It'll always be someone well, else, Michael, just so you know. MichaelJones.com is not loading. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not available, but. If you could change your last name, what would it be? I don't know. Metheny. I don't know that it would change it to anything. I've never thought about changing it to anything. I could just redo my whole name. That'd be great. Why? No offense, mom and dad. You don't what? like your name? I, I've hated my name you since. You don't like Barbara? I've hated Barbara's it so ever. cool because nobody is called Barbara of your age. I guess I've grown to appreciate over time just because it's unique. And I'm not named like, no offense to people named this, but like Jessica. Oh, or, man. Oh. Or Ashley. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, my God. Or Meg. Let's You're not just going common. down the list, aren't you? What's wrong with Jessica? Yeah, I... Nothing's wrong with Jessica it. It's just a Rabbit? common name. It's just a common name. So it's like, you know, you say, oh, what's Jessica doing? It's like, which Jessica? Whenever it says Barbara, they're... <laughs> <laughs> Arrested Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> that was fast. Thank you, Jace Ruggie. <laughs> That's for, awesome. Uh, for saving my stupid joke. I don't know if save is the right word. He made it funnier. <laughs> he did. Um, <laughs> Continue you had that your stupid you joke, joke, maybe. So, uh, I'm, I'm the same way. I feel like my name's really unusual, uh, but I, I really like it. The biggest problem I have with my name is when I order takeout, like people say, you know, you go through your order and they're like, and what's your name? Because they want to know what name to put it under. I feel like people don't expect a one syllable name. Like, if yeah. they're like, what's your name? Gus. What? Gus. Justin? No. <laughs> My name is Gus. Just no, it's like it's impossible. Why don't you just say Gustavo? Because that's even worse. Is what? it? <laughs> I feel like in Texas that would be pretty common. How many other fucking Gustavos do you know? None. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know very many people outside this company though. There is a <laughs> a Gus who. Uh, there is. Yeah. Who, who does works here? He does some stuff here every now and then. Volunteer, but there's no other Barbara. Yeah. And there probably won't be unless we hire one in like accounting or someone or something. He's like <laughs> fifty something. No, I will sure. say it's, it it's, could be worse. It could be like Mildred. It's true. But then people call me Millie, and Millie made that cool, so I'd be okay. Fair play. Yeah. Why don't you make Barbara cool? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you can't. right? I forgot. Oh. oh. That's why I'm not. It, I'm okay with it. You know, because as yeah. it lacks the originality, no one ever fucks up my name. <laughs> you know, and I call up Jones. Okay, no one ever goes hard to spell that. It's like, if you ask me how do you spell that, you're saying, how do I spell? Yeah. Because really, there's <laughs> no way to spell Jones. I have to spell free all the time, and it's because people expect it to be spelled with. Oh, with like an I or some yeah. stupid shit? I just say F-R-E, and they're like, oh. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So, so when they ask how you spell it, do you just say like free, like the word free? I just say F-R-E. -E. Just... That's m it's more work to explain it mm -hmm. than to just say four letters. So yeah. yeah, I have to spell my name every single time. Well, you have the whole E L L E debate too. Yeah, it's true. I'm sure no one ever gets right. It's E L. Dunkelman. Brian Dunkelman fucked it up for us because his is L E. Dunkelman. Also, the way it sounds, it should be L E, but somewhere down the line. Yeah, you really kicked the English language in the dick with that one. Yeah, and Barbara too. People always do uh, Barbara. 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 Well, Barbara Streisand ruined that for you as well because yep. she spells it B A R B R A. Oh, she's, spe <clears throat> she's the oh. only she bitch who Barbara, does that. Barbara, like a fucking asshole. I didn't. Or a bra. Shut up. What? A bra. That, that, is, that is how it's spelled. I'm with you. Yeah, but it's Barbara. <laughs> That's, That's the name. Word. It's not Barbara. It's not Barbara. It's Barbara. Barbara. It that is if you're a performer. Full name. Barbara. Sure. Barbara. Keep saying my name. It's a weird name. Nice. Barbara. Do you like it when people say a name? <laughs> yeah, you, everyone does. Even I see. The, I have no connection to it. That's like it's, a, like, it's probably the guy over there. <laughs> it's probably the guy over there. Problem. I literally. This is actually really funny. Being at Rooster Teeth, like I grew up. Learning if someone's yelling the name Michael in public nine out of ten times. It's not me, you know So like going to the mall people are yelling at their kids and shit all the time So I'd be a teenager and someone's like Michael and I would never turn around ever now like rooster teeth You know if people see us out at Walmart or whatever, you know I getting food somewhere It's pretty common for people to you know yell our names and we're like, oh, can I get a picture or whatever so 
now more than ever people yell Michael and I always look around like sup damn it because I think maybe it's a fucking fan or something <laughs> and I'm just always caught looking around and I see some three year old running around with, with his mom <laughs> chasing her I'm like no no yeah I was, no, it wasn't me that looks about right or vice versa I will ignore it but no it totally is some random person yelling my name out <laughs> and they're like it's just chasing me across the parking lot because before it was well, I don't know anybody here but now it's like anyone could know me so now I'm just on alert at all times yeah. At all times. But you don't like Mike. No one calls you Mike. No. I don't know. I just never went by that. Mike Jones. What about Mickey? Nope. Or Mickus. Miku. Is Mickey a nickname for Michael? Yeah. Mickey? I Maybe. I never heard that. Michael Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> what was his full name? People Idiot. laugh at that, but they don't last by my crystal pepsi. <laughs> 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 he it wasn't funny. <laughs> It was not funny. Welcome it was to my like, everyday, Aww. Gus. Gavin. Uh, I'm happy with thing. that. I had to apologize uh, to Lindsay, uh, Gray, Miles, and Carrie this weekend because almost every single person that would come up to the booth if I was there, they would make a pun or <laughs> ask for a pun or mention puns. Did you have to have puns on standby? Like a list? I did. I, I always like bring a few with me to have like in the back <laughs> of my mind in case anyone asked me to write one or like say something. I like the extra research that you put in to attending events It's also, no one else has to do. Well, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say no one, but it's like per character, right? Yeah. Where I like how for Barbara, she has to keep puns on hand just I also in have to case. draw a lot of dicks on things. Right. For me, it's usually... Like an answer phone message or a, a It'll video? either be a message or like for something to sign. They'll just be like, <laughs> oh, just write whatever. And for me is like, or, you know, they'll ask me, sign it for my friend Chris, but like, tell him to go fuck himself or whatever you want. It's like <laughs> in, in place of Barbara's puns, I have creative ways to tell people's friends that they're losers because they're not here and their friends are here. But it's usually, you know, like, yeah, you, you can tell him to go fuck himself or something. Like, that's fine. He, he'd love that if you write that on there. It's like the it's kid the we... We saw it near Comic Con 2011 again. The uh, little French kid with his yeah. dad, who's just like, "You do rage quit." He's like, "You yell, my you son? yell at my son." Yeah, yes, yes, more, more, more. <laughs> he was just like, All right, it was guy. like the seven-year-old boy. He was like, "Ah, papa, he's doing it." <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it. <laughs> he had like a little flag. He was waving. He was like, "Yeah." I can imagine him as like the little Team America puppet within the puppet show kind of thing. Like, it's pretty much like that. That's how yeah. I remember it. Gets more like that every Did time. Did you work I think in about any it. French? Into your yelling, or do you not know any French? No, I did not. I did not work any French into it. What was? What's your thing? Do you, like when people ask you to do something at a con or a event? Uh, I get the video message thing a lot, but it's just like me just being, being nice and not yelling at them. <laughs> do you have anything? Um, well, that's boring. No, I mean. I I don't know why, but I, the same thing. Sometimes people will say, like, oh, my friend couldn't be here. Can you tell him he's a piece of shit? Like, yeah. All right. I don't know why you want me to tell. I feel like we all get that, though. Yeah, oh, okay. Sometimes people ask me to do the, the ring, the message noise, the text oh, message the, noise. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, the bird noise. Yes. That is definitely gotcha. you. A lot of people ask yeah. us to say hello to their friends, like, in our characters' voices. And I'm just like, I just guess I'm just going to talk. <laughs> it just says normal. You could do orf. Or orf. I could. But usually it was for Ruby. We had a big Ruby uh, fan following. You should start okay. shutting people down and be like, Fuck you, watch X-Ray and Bev. <laughs> Fuck your Ruby cosplay. No offense. There was a cosplayer- Why are you not dressed as Orf? There was a cosplayer who had made her own Orf and had like a Bluetooth speaker in it. And she recorded me saying like one of the Orf lines. And then she played it back in the Bluetooth speaker coming out of Orf. Mm -hmm. like that he is was badass. Like, I was just like, that is so cool. That's like custom Did you steal orf? it? I wanted to. I would have just taken it and be like, legally this is mine. Like really. You have my soul in it. <laughs> You're at our booth. <laughs> it's <laughs> like our own us. country. <laughs> you, you can legally take International property International waters. Here. Right. Yeah. She was pretty talented. She, she came as uh, Velvet from Ruby, Hilda, and Orif one day, and then I forget what the last one was. But she was really good. That's always the craziest, too. Like, our fans are so nuts. They don't just show up in cosplay. They have a different cosplay for every day. And from I've seen all that of our so shows, many times. Too. It's fucking nuts. Like from all the animated shows. You're lucky, a lot of people came as you guys. You're lucky I get dressed and go to the convention. <laughs> like I'm there in clothes. I think and some fans would be okay. Every you. time, like I remember RTX, I don't know how many people were telling me like, oh, just wait till I see what I, what, what I wear tomorrow. And I was like, I'm going to change my t-shirt. <laughs> you know, Maybe. I mean, the undies are from today, so they're good. It's really impressive. Like one of my favorite pictures ever is all of those. I think it might have been MCM in London or something where 
there were like 10 different x-ray and valves like all in a line like x-ray valve x-ray valve yeah it my, was wicked it was like oh my god there's even more now god. especially now that the animated shows out yeah well dude it was like i mean as far as people making cosplays and with our fan base um i don't know her full name but i've seen her on twitter like a million times but naomi she makes oh, all yeah. those cosplays and i think like one of the first ones she did was x-ray and valve but she there was the whole thing with alan richson in the mac and cheese she made a fucking mac and cheese cosplay in like 24 <laughs> hours from that stream like it was maybe maybe a day later it's like I she's have to head to toe a mac and cheese outfit i have to believe she just has like an uh, her own craft store or something where she gets that do you supplies. think she's got like two sewing machines and can she like use them both at the same time like each hand sewing different maybe things maybe she just hired some some children there's got to be some someone who her. can do that so two different well, there things. was that guy who could write two different. He could write in two different languages at the same time, with each hand. Does he have two what? brains? How do you do that? That's crazy. I think it may have been a side effect of a different illness, but it was like one of those awesome side Holy effects. Holy shit! It might, yeah, it must be the kind of thing where it's like the two hemispheres of his brain don't communicate. Yeah, it's like they can each operate independently. I can't even play the piano with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't do something different with one hand and the other. You know, how, like or like rub and. Pat? Yeah. Try yeah. it. Rub and pat? Yeah, what is pat it? your head and rub your stomach. Nailed it. There you got it. But I'm leaving my hand on, on my head, you're, which is cheating. There was, there was some good. stomach padding in at the beginning. <laughs> I did it. it. Or Riven. like, it, wasn't it the thing where it's like you have to put your foot in a counterclockwise and try to draw a six and you can't do it? Oh, yeah. Then your foot starts moving in like a six. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting when your brain makes decisions. <laughs> no, I haven't finished. Let him finish to laugh at him. He'll get okay, there. Okay, like, like say there's something there, and I reach for it. Sometimes I reach with one hand. Sometimes I'll go for both. I don't ever decide. I'll take it with two hands today. But like, it always happens in a different way, you know? Nope. No. <laughs> I was like almost with you at the beginning, and like, then you went off. Like off sometimes track. you pick up something with two hands. Yeah, if it's heavy, maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what you're going for here. I don't either. You started with the brain, and I was going to apply it to Ryan's been playing with the Vive for like the last two that months. That thing is incredible. Maybe month. It is incredible. Like, the Oculus is cool. The Vive is like... Next yeah. level. I'm here. That it's, That is the first time I've done VR stuff where I know for a fucking fact I'm standing in Achievement Hunter, and my body's like, whoa, careful, you're going to fall down a hole. Yeah, we had And I'm a, like, stupid yeah, body, there's, there's no you, hole. Like, there's one where you, where you shrink into the room you're in, and then you're on a shelf, and you're just looking around. It's like, whoa, I almost fell off the shelf. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. It's amazing how quickly your brain ignores the truth, and it just gets... It's like your mind wants you to believe. We had uh, David over there try it out earlier today, and he did the portal one where, like, you expand the robot. Yeah, yeah. you open and you have up. to repair it, and he would not walk through it. It's like <laughs> any time he would walk around and go to this, I was like, you know, you can just walk right through it's it. It's totally the future of... Gaming. We uh definitely we had Fruit Ninja on it. We we're trying that out. Yeah. Uh, frigging awesome. Jeff Jeff was playing it within like ten seconds. You know, because it was only you only use one sword in the game, and some some of the five stuff you use two. There's like little nunchuck type things. Um, but for Fruit Ninja, you only use one. Within like ten seconds, because there's fruit flying everywhere, Jeff's chopping, and he kept trying to hit the fruit with his left hand <laughs> because yeah. it's just you, your brain. It's just like oh shit, shit. You just feel it's like really, an idiot doing it's it. It's really cool. Like you can like chop through it, and then at, at some point, I was just trying to mess with it, like trying to do different stuff. So I was like, what if I could skewer one of these pieces of fruit? So I just went like, and it got stuck on the end of my sword. And I was like, oh. this is like, how is this the craziest also hit him with, like, The flat of the blade. Yeah, and then I started to, like I started to make a kebab. I was like skewering all this stuff. Seeing I got like three on there. It? Yeah, do it again. Whew. And then <laughs> changed. And then when Slower. I was done with that, I started ignoring the fruit, and I was like, "I'm gonna commit seppuku." So I like twisted the, the knife, and I was like, "I really don't want to do this." He was like, "I don't like it." Yeah. And then I, I was like, like it. "I had to convince myself that it was okay because I was like, oh, it's getting really oh." And I just did it. I just went, and I kind of like I felt something. <laughs> almost. I was like. That feels weird to shove a sword into my stomach. Even it felt so weird. Even in the sense I was already fascinated by it, like in in the way we we make videos already, like things to do's and stuff like that. Because to start the game, there's a floating watermelon in front of you, and you have to slice it, and then the game starts. But like Gus was saying, you can hit it with the blunt end, and if you hit it with the blunt end, the watermelon will just fall, and the game won't start. So. Right after I played it once, the, f the first thing I started doing was you can whack the watermelon from underneath and it'll fly over your head. And there's like 30 feet of a dojo behind you that yeah. doesn't exist in real life, but, but it just goes. You don't need at all. Like so, everything's in front and it's just all there. Yeah, yeah. You happen to look at it. I literally 
probably for three minutes was hitting this watermelon and then turning my head around just to see how far it went. And I'm like, this is fun. <laughs> Trying to so, hit it in an imaginary space. So he told not me that. Real. And then, of course, I was like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I got to do that. So yeah. that, that's all I did. It was it's just like, fucking <laughs> fun, right? I didn't get to try that one yet. So the, the yeah, future of gaming is that with also feet. Like, you should be able to kick shit. Uh -huh. You should also have a glove for picking up stuff. Uh -huh. But and how will your brain know whether to use one glove or two gloves? Shut up. And also, <laughs> there should be, like, a bodysuit that has little force feedback. So if you uh -huh. get hit by something, it'll be like... Dunk. Or if you put a sword in, it's so like... So if you have that, if you have, like, glove, legs, feedback, and the ability for other people to appear in your virtual world where they are, based on how life... Helmet! It's team. the future of gaming. Yeah, if you, had a, if you had a laser and a shield... Although I am... I am worried that the whole argument about how video games make people do mental stuff is only going to get worse when video games are that realistic. Because mm -hmm. people are going to have dreams, or they, they won't know what's real. Or, or I mean, that same like the thing that yeah. scares me is like, uh, imagine like a natively developed PT or like a horror <laughs> game. I would not play it. I, I don't. Do right. I really hope they don't be horror games. Terrifying. Just in the in the portal thing when uh, I think it's. Atlas? It's Atlas or Peabody, I don't remember. One of them's busted, comes in. It's Atlas. It's yeah. fucking huge, right? Like, Atlas is probably, and he's like the short one. Yeah. He's probably six foot, at least. That's the thing, is that you and never then, get that scale when you're when you're just uh, looking at yeah, a TV. Right, and then fucking GLaDOS comes up at the end, and it's just, like, the head part, like that, you know, yeah. part that's on the arm, and it zooms in. It's gotta be ten yeah. feet tall. Like, she, like, like standing in, in the room, you're, you're looking up. Every time I watch someone play it, you know, I know GLaDOS comes in, because Gavin's like this, like, at the fucking scene. Yeah. And they take a step back. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, holy shit. I, it's the huge. floor drops out in that. And I watched Gavin jump because the floor started dropping. Yeah, I was like, Ooh. PT absolutely would shit my pants. I, like, I honestly no joke. wouldn't play it. I would, I would play it and film it, and I'd probably wet myself. I just. That would be I, there's terrifying. no way you could get me to like walk down that corridor. You, I absolutely believe people with like heart conditions and shit would drop dead, like if seeing that stuff in real life. Like, for sure. And it's so annoying to try and explain. Like, you really have to try it. Like it's it. We're yeah. never gonna do it justice by yeah. talking about it. It's so I mean, amazing. It's like real life. It's yeah. pretty like absurd. I instantly forget that there's actual physical stuff around me. Like I would constantly the... walk into yeah. a box or something. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm an achievement hunter. Damn it. I'm Gavin still started playing the first time he used it, and I slowly started moving <clears throat> things closer oh, okay. and closer to him. And then Jeff started doing it. So by the end, he walked forward and was like, what? What? Yeah, I, what have you done? I was and he was in literally in, in, a, in a circle probably about the size of his feet that he could stand <laughs> in. Do you guys have the underwater one too with the sunken ship they and the do. whale? They I haven't do. tried that one. Oh, it's good. Ryan's got them all. He's like a good drug dealer. He's like, what do you need? I got it. Pulls it out. I really want to try surgery. Yeah? Getting okay, wait, it or wait. performing? Both. Mm. No, no, I want to... Okay, imagine if you could, you could wear the thing, it takes your height into consideration, and it just projects a naked body... <laughs> Maybe get rid of the penis just for okay. PG, and then you oh can just God. like you just get a scalpel and you can just like no, that's the first no, step. You know who get rid awesome. of the penis. Prometheus. Actually, that 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 I'm gonna take that a step in a different, slightly different direction. You're gonna make fun of me at the same no, time. No, 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 it's good. <laughs> you know, you had your wisdom teeth out. Imagine if when they gas you, they put a VR headset on, oh. <laughs> and then you're just like fucked up out of your mind, just like not know what's going on. Oh. It's like, oh my they god, could mess with you that so should absolutely much. be like a flight simulator. I'm in another or something. world, like just flying, like or just swimming underwater. <laughs> There's a whale waking <laughs> with at the you. Whale, yeah, I want that now. That'd be really cool. Look how happy want, he is. I would, go, thing I would he just go to came the, up with. I hate going to the dentist. I would go to the dentist if they get you fucked up and then put a VR headset on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you're a giant tooth. <laughs> <laughs> you're your you're own being tooth removed coming out. By your yeah. own mouth. You're like, yay! <laughs> Instead of blood, it's like rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys did Surgeon Simulator with VR, that would be really entertaining. Yeah. That would be entertaining as shit. You could make it so educational. Like, if they don't do learning with this thing, it's a massive wasted opportunity. This, reminds, this whole discussion reminds me I'm, I'm just getting into Ready Player One, the book. Mm -hmm. And this whole discussion reminds me of Oasis. I have not read it yet. Uh, I'm probably going to start tomorrow on that book. Okay. I just finished rereading Clash of, or re-listening to Clash of Kings today. So before I move on to uh, Feast for Crows, I'll probably well, we'll stick discuss. Ready Player One in there. Are they making a movie out of that? Yes, I think Spielberg's attached to that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, here, I got one more thing to read. I uh, want to thank our friends over at WarbyParker.com. Warby Parker makes high quality, stylish frames for prescription glasses. Awesome glasses start at $95 uh, compared to similar, sim <laughs> let's take that over, compared to similar quality boutique brand frames that sell for $300 or more. 
Warby Parker also has a free home try-on program that's really cool. You get to go to their website, choose five pairs of frames, and they send them to you so you can try them on and decide which ones you like best. I've got them right here. So, they send you the box, and you've got five pairs of glasses. I'll, uh, I'll show them to you a little more in, in depth right now. Um, uh, so, for every pair of glasses you purchase, Warby Parker sends a pair to someone in need. Uh, so make sure to tweet and comment on which pair you like the most. So try Warby Parker out for yourself, see how good you look in their frames. Go to warbyparker.com slash roosterteeth and get free three-day shipping on your final frame selection. Uh, it's warbyparker.com slash roosterteeth. So when we did, uh, so I've got five different frames here that I wanted to try on. And when we did the sponsor supplementary podcast uh, last week, I was showing some photos from my phone and people saw in the camera roll me with these glasses on and I saw people posting on the website like what the fuck are these photos and it was like me wearing the <laughs> Glasses like that. I got some some like funny ones and Man, uh, you look like a dweeb <laughs> <laughs> A smart dweeb buy other dweeby glasses at oh. warbyparker.com. See someone whistle. Those are nice I have no idea who so they're not since they're just the trial ones. They're not prescription So I can't see anything <laughs> no. Despite could the I, fact I'm wearing glasses. Could I, could I wear one? Uh, sure. Should we all try this? on a pair? I want those ones. Let's switch for glasses Steve? for the rest of the yeah. podcast. Michael? Throw me something, yeah. There you go. Oh, These I'm gonna, when I was, when I'm gonna I was, look distinguished here. When I was younger, I used to want to wear Oh, those glasses. look cool, Gavin. Yep. Do I, think, I look cool? <laughs> you do look good in those, actually, Michael. I think you have a smaller head width. You think my head got smaller? No, I'm saying it's smaller than that. Oh, Smaller probably. than this yeah. monstrosity over here? Yeah. Probably. Oh, those look good on you, Barbara. Thank you. I used oh, to want glasses do. when I was a kid, only I think because I thought they looked the cool. The ones I'm going to end up getting, I think, would be the ones that you've got on, Gavin. I think that's some more sunglasses. Those look good. But even the ones I'm wearing right now, actually, now that I think about it, the prescription glasses I have on, these are also Warby Parker. So you could get these if you wanted. You can look like Is Gus. that the Gus model? This you is the Gus, Gus model. Cosplay Gus. <laughs> no, don't cut to me. I mean, that's cool. Cut to the wide. <laughs> uh, get fucked. Yeah, keep, keep my glasses back. Do you look good in all glasses, or is that just a fluke? What, you think I look good in these? I, Shut up. I think Are you looking at me <laughs> or Michael? Oh, Gavin. Put these on. Okay. Give me those. Okay. Thanks. Tracy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! That oh, was so loud! Come on! Oh. Oh. It was knocked a tooth out! The hazardous. You look like Harry Potter. You look like deal- like a deal with it gif, uh, Barbara. Here, you want me to look like a deal with it gif? These are not Warby Parker, though. <laughs> Competitor. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. They actually look fake. <laughs> it's weird. I know. Someone sent these like a year you ago. You look a lot smarter, Gavin. It's not true. Can we, can but we, I can see oh. it. Well, according to my calculations. You look like an older uh, British guy. Now. No, yeah, you, you, you look like a British no, nerd. You look like you look like uh, Harry Potter. Right? He does. Yeah. They're not even the same glasses, but somehow the glasses pull out the Harry Potterness of your face. Abracadabra. That's there you, you go. know that's not what he says. What does he say? Kind of lingus. Says a Excelsior. Bunch of things. <laughs> Yeah, g give me those glasses back. I want to try these on. I gotta, I gotta return them so I can get the glasses. Oh, these are, are these back. your personal box? Yes, yeah, my personal. So box. What, you'll get in trouble if we trash these. Yes, I you'll will get, get in trouble. To trouble. Trash those. Those Do it. Those. Trash them. Break his glasses. Don't break my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those, those words had to come out of your mouth. Do not at your break age. my glasses. Don't break my glasses. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> my mom's gonna be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> my glasses. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. I would have totally missed that. <laughs> I like these. Those look good. You should get glasses. Do you have perfect vision? I do. Oh, oh, why are you annoyed? I'm so sorry. No, because I oh, want I'm glasses. Vision. You can wear glasses. You don't have to have bad get, eyes. Like, no, Bernie's been wearing fucking glasses for like four years. I know, and he but you, need them. you can't wear glasses if you don't need them. Because then you're called a bollocks. hipster or a poser or Again, whatever. Again, Bernie's people. been doing it. He's a hipster. Well, Bernie used to need glasses, so it became part of his look. So he's allowed to do That's it. bullshit. He's, he's been far enough, shit. Away, far enough he's removed now, shit. it could not be part of his look if he had stopped wearing Don't, them. Do you have contacts now? Yeah, okay. I go back and forth. Yeah, because I remember you- You're one of those people, you can do both. Like, like you I don't do look, do both. You don't look weird without glasses. That's because I wear them both enough. But you look weird. Well, that's because yeah. Gus never, ever, ever takes his glasses off. Yeah, it looks crazy when he off. does. Whip them off? No. Do it. <laughs> it's like a shirt to him. Do it. I'll take them off. Absolutely Don't cut to me. <laughs> I said don't cut to me! 
It is part of your look, yeah. but it's a permanent. You gotta hide. You gotta get as much between the face and other people as possible. So like glasses, masks, whatever, makeup, <laughs> masks. everything. Yeah, gotta gotta hide as much of this as I can. Just like this one of those spit know, covers this. at Subway. One of the what? Those like spit guards oh, that they yeah. have at Subway or in the sandwich <laughs> shops. Does it drive thing. anyone else crazy when you're like at a salad bar or a Subway or whatever, and people reach over the fucking glass to like what point at something? Yes, I want that. Yeah. Like, you could just say what it is, you know. What if I, you don't know the name? It's labeled. Here's it's a, all here, labeled. Here's, here's, the here's, here's the thing. I'll even combat that. So there's a there's a donut shop near where I just moved. I just moved in the house, and there's a donut shop near that I pass on the way to work. So I go there fairly often. They have delicious kolaches and donuts and such. There are many, many donuts in which names I don't know. Like twi- there's like twisty knot donuts, and there's yeah. some that have a bunch of shit on it. I every every day I literally go. <laughs> Give me that one that's, like, doing that. She knows what it is, okay? I'm gonna, like, go back and point at it. There's, like, 800 donuts there. And I go, give me the curly one. She's like, yeah, okay. Four rows over. Got it. I gotta say that. You when work I, there. You should know. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to, like, you, touch it, not okay? Not like Ariana Grande fucking licking it. What? <laughs> you did not see the video of her licking donuts? No. I guess it was like surveillance video. Like she was, she went to some donut shop, and there were donuts out on on the display. And I guess they she ordered donuts, and when like the person working there turned around to bag up their order, she like started licking the donuts that were out there. Like, did she pick it up and lick no, it? No, just, just like, like it was on the tray, and like yeah, like that. That she just started like licking the donuts that were out there. Do you think like if you were a big celebrity, would you do that kind of shit just for fun? And then she also like said, "I hate America. I hate Americans." You didn't hear this? No. Where's she from? I think she's from America. Oh. I haven't, did you hear about this? No, I had no idea. I think you're the only one. I have a, I have well, a donut licking fetish, okay? You told me now. I want to see it. It's on donutlickers.com. Don't go there. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, God. I guarantee you that's, that's not good. That's got to be a website. No, there it is. Oh, that's not donutlickers.com that you're showing. Though. Yeah, she just licked a donut. It looked like she was just kind of like tasting some of the sugar. No, they're licking donuts. She hates America? Yeah. What a weirdo. And Americans. And you. So you're fine. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I get by. That was, uh, a lot, that was a lot of crap in those... Like, if you ever go to Freebirds or Chipotle. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of crap that's, like, you can put on your food that I don't know what it's called. Yeah, same with me. Yeah. Like, Pico. I don't know what the hell that was. I'm just like, I, was I like, want that salsa. Not good. Give me the colorful Pico's crap. Pico's awesome. What is it? What is, what is, it's like, like rooster uh, something. Something to do with the rooster. It's diced tomatoes, Pico de gallo, onions. Yeah. What is that in English? It's like the rooster's beak. Rooster's beak. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, diced tomatoes, uh, diced onions, cilantro, good. jalapeno, yeah. It's Load really me up good. with pico. It's really good. I thought you just said you didn't like it. What? Did I? No, I did. Oh, you did. I don't oh, like okay. it. Like he it. may have agreed or not. Yeah. I don't like tomatoes and I don't like cilantro, so that makes sense. Mm. And cilantro is... More goop I don't like. Coriander? Is that what you call Coriander. it? Coriander. Yeah. yeah. It's the stuff that some people have... There it is. A, some weird, like, genetic thing that makes it taste like soap. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. Maybe I have that. What's Does it the taste thing like that, soap to you? Just what do you call, call, like, what do you call rocket? What's up? Uh, arugula. Arugula. The only time I can eat pico is when it's in queso. And it's like eating queso. Pico de queso? Yeah. Great. Was that rooster's cheese? What is that? Uh, what is it's that? the beak of you cheese. You just made that up I mean, <laughs> Beak cheese. Yeah. No, I know. I was just Cheese trying to beak. translate. But like, I'll, the queso's fine, but it's got a little like, blech. Like aftertaste. That's what I get from Pico. It's like, it's like mm. a strong bitter taste. Ugh. Yeah. It's like I just had some delicious cheese and chips and then ate a piece of grass. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So you good. Get, you guys have a different. You don't like grass. For grass. <laughs> People off camera don't like grass apparently. Um, it's weird to me, like stuff like that. That. You know, we we don't know, but that some people taste cilantro differently than other people. This makes me wonder about like all the experiences, everything that you feel and you see and you experience in your life that you think is normal might not be normal. Like you might be the only person experiencing that. Like I mean, color's the same way. There's just no way of knowing. Mm-hmm. It's, re- it's really like the sky could be green to everyone else. I recently watched a whole bunch of videos of people trying these glasses that correct color blindness and them seeing like real colors for the first time. But how really? do they how do they know it worked? Because everything's really vibrant all of a sudden. And they can distinguish, like, this flower is different colors than this flower was before it looked the same. Oh, someone tweeted <laughs> me a photo of Barack Obama <laughs> pointing over uh, the sneeze guard to. at Chipotle. It's true. He is allowed. He could do whatever the fuck he wants. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like a Chipotle. If I ate something that Obama touched, I would be pretty happy about it. I'm like, he put his finger in this. I think, well, he's, po- he I think his- he's pointing at, r- at rice. <laughs> Give me that substance. Oh, would no, you, no, no, I think it's the salsa. Would you let Obama do a lot more to you than a regular person? What does that mean? <laughs> like, sexually? Like, what do you mean, or... do more to me? Like, what if he... Like, like if you wanted to hug me? Sure. What if he, like, hug people. licked his finger and then, like, put it all in your mouth? Why would he do that? <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Someone uh, photoshopped it. I don't think you can, yeah, see, it you can, you can see it on camera. Did they do that in MS Paint? Probably. Let me see. They put a little uh, lightning bolt <laughs> scar <laughs> on Gavin's forehead. That, that is no effort <laughs> whatsoever. Thanks, um, I think if thanks Obama, to D-Tenant 100. If he wanted to lick his finger and go put on the Apple TV. in my mouth, maybe, but I'd ask him why. Like, but for no okay reason. Probably. He's probably pretty clean. Like, I'm sure he has people take care of him. Like, he has to be clean, you know? To probably wash his hands for him. Do you Mr. Th- president, you, do you need to be think, clean. Do you <laughs> think we've ever effort. had a president? Oh, there it is. <laughs> with that? like, do you think we've ever had a president with like bad personal hygiene and like no one can tell him that like he smells bad? Probably. I mean, it's like Washington probably it's smelled like, like shit, right? Yeah, I'm sure everyone presidents. else at the time smelled bad. I'm yeah, talking like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. comparatively. You mean, okay, comparatively. Uh, probably, right? There's probably some stinking ones in <laughs> there. There had to have been. I think about that sometimes. Like, I'll see like a painting of yeah. like the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Like, July in Philadelphia, the founders of a nation signing this historic document, and I think, how bad did that room smell? Yeah, yeah. It's like all these no stinky AC, dudes, guys. yeah, no AC, but wearing those goddamn wigs and that powder. Probably like ten what layers of clothing. What the fuck was up with that? De- deodorant Let's just doesn't wear exist. Wigs every day. Do you think that any of them the stinkiest painting in the world? Do you think anyone fought as they signed it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. They probably couldn't even some decipher pr- whether they some did probably or not. did on purpose. <laughs> it's just to just to tell the story. I new, farted when I signed it. New country, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is the what is the worst time that someone fired in history? Like, do you think anyone ever met the Queen and fired just by accident? Oh, it has to have happened, right? Just from being nervous, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> do you think, do you but shake the Queen's up? hand? I don't know, how do you greet the Queen? Yeah, I don't you know, know, you were the one that said that, like, you, you, you know, there's her? like a whole... You have to be far away, and... You have to be far away? Yeah, if you, like, approach the Queen, like, if she knights you, you don't, like, shake her fucking hand, right? You'd probably break it. Well, you know, if you're being knighted, you usually knelt down. Like with your head tilted forward. I'm just saying, who meets the queen and just goes, hello, and shakes her hand? I think a lot of people who shake the, ca- the hand of the queen. It'll, do you think that that happens that often where people fart while she's doing it? I'm just saying she probably only shakes the hand of like really important people, right? Well, people get nervous. Really important people fart too. Especially I when guess. everyone farts. But that would be like the queen. You think she gets nervous meeting other people? She's like, I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> she probably, if anything, because she didn't care, she probably shits herself while she shakes someone's hand. She's like, <laughs> Like, I did it on purpose. How did we get here? <laughs> Gavin! <laughs> Gavin brought us here, as think, always. Yeah, I brought you near there. Do you, think you, you drove brought right us here. Middle. You pulled up to the front door, and yeah, you're mad because I got out. Do you think Come anyone on. will tell the queen what you just said? Hopefully. Like, you won't believe this. Michael Jones in America said the most inappropriate thing about Don't you. Don't ruin my chances of getting knighted, alright? It, it could happen one day. It won't happen. No, it won't. It won't Why? happen. For what? what I don't you know. Done? I, think I might just, go on to do great things. You might go on. I don't know that you go on from here to do great things that gets united, but then she goes, whoa, wait a minute. You were on a podcast <laughs> where someone said I shit my pants? You're out of here. I don't you really so think that's going to give you trouble. Hmm. I don't know. If it did, I don't think you have a shot. I'll be like, my bad. Sorry you didn't get knighted because I said the queen might shit herself. <laughs> She's old. It probably happens anyway. Probably, it probably s- fucking sneaks out. Do you ever think she's like on the toilet taking <laughs> oh, a dump? No. And, and she's just like, man, I'm the queen taking a shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I'm not the queen, so I don't know. It'd be cool if she was. It'd be cool if she was like tweeting while taking do think, a dump. Do you, do you think it's an actual throne? <laughs> like an actual porcelain throne? Porcelain throne. But the president must do it too. He's like, this is my first shit as the president oh, the of the president United States. the president definitely does. We, we actually, I don't know if you remember this, we talked about presidential shits once on the podcast. It rings a bell. We talked about whether or not the secret, like to hide his DNA, the Secret Service had to shit at the same time. <laughs> and like all flush the toilet simultaneously. You have so a that, second shitter? Yeah, terrorists could not intercept the president's DNA. <laughs> <laughs> They've intercepted the package. <laughs> We had, a, someone, long, we had a very long discussion about this on the podcast. <laughs> That'd be like a sweet Jason Bourne scene, like five special agents chasing someone down who's running away with a turd in a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, him! It would be a briefcase. It wouldn't be a bag. 
Yeah, they'd probably have like, little compartments shit, for it. It would be one of those cryogenic <laughs> briefcases. And, and the guy would be down at Battery Park in New York, like, hey, you want to buy some presidential shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the guy's he's like, I got a bunch. It's all from the president. <laughs> Everyone, I got 50 shits on me. Or just past president shits that he's just frozen. Yeah, which president you want? The older Wait, ones are green who's and they're Barack hard. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a knockoff bitch. Yeah. This is a totally knockoff shit. <laughs> All right, well, it's about time to wrap up. You gotta but, wrap it up? Get a wrap oh, up yeah, the podcast? Yeah, yeah. I, we did not talk about the Red vs. Blue DVD. Yes. Talk about that DVD. I got something to throw out, too. That comes out on uh, on Tuesday, right? Tomorrow. tomorrow. What so shirt is this? If you're watching this live, it comes out tomorrow. And Otherwise, a, it's a out already. Neptune shirt from Ruby that's, I think, in our store already. Or just Neptune, that's... I know him. That's Carrie. Oh, you got the Blu-ray and the I've DVD? I've got the Sun shirt on. Look, zoom in on my Sun shirt. Buy that one, too. Neptune oh, and Sun. Over there. BFS. Boop. But yeah, season 13 tomorrow. And the soundtrack. Soundtrack as well. Music by Trocadero and David Levy. And there's another shirt coming out this week that I, I don't think we can talk about yet that I'm excited okay, about. Guys? There's 42 tracks on this soundtrack. You were just shocked too? at the value there. That is crazy value. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you found 42 tracks on the floor, <laughs> you'd pick it up. But with Bill Gates. There you go. Uh, yeah, so all that stuff is out now. Check it out. Can I have this one? Store. Can you have that? I think so. He's taking yeah, sure, it. Take it. Dude, get this. So I'm going to throw it out here right before the podcast is over, Gus. You hit me. I'm going to do a podcast. You're going to do a podcast? Chima Hunter podcast. Chima Hunter podcast. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Gavin will be there sometimes, right? Oh, yeah. I'll be somewhere here on a different set. But oh, that's right on a different set. Yeah. Well, I don't want this old thing. When is that premiere? <laughs> and I have brand new. Uh, soon, Barbara. Okay. Soon. Like uh, a couple weeks. I took a, I took a cheeky peek at the set. Oh, did you? I haven't even looked at it yet. It I, looks cheeky. It looks pretty cool. I uh, I looked up some pictures and I said, "Hey, make it look like this." So you know, I'm jealous. Yeah, it's cool. It's it nice. should be fun. It should be a fun set. Yeah. So yeah, look forward. You got that to look forward to. Yeah, soon. look forward to wasting your time with that. What are you talking about? Video games? We'll talk or about video like games. Bullshit, whatever. We'll talk about beer. Mm. How many people? Noses. You, how many people are you gonna have on at a time? Probably three to four with a okay. spot for a fifth in case we need a guest. I think people will enjoy it. So look out for that. If you like this podcast and podcasts like it. When's it out? I Barbara just asked and I said I didn't know. Oh. Soonish. What's it going to be called? Next just few weeks. The Achievement Hunter podcast? To be determined, but uh, you'll find out when it comes out. But probably not the Achievement you Hunter should, podcast. You should call it Ah uh, Podcast. Get it? That's an idea that H. I'll uh, listen to right now. Crystal pepsi <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, Crystal. Pepsony. <laughs> Turn off Gus's mic. I totally blew out the mic there. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys next week. Love Bye. you. Bye. I love you. Hey, that's my mic. <laughs>